As we turn the engine, the fixed magnet on the flywheel rotates with it. And each time the magnet passes the electronic coil pack, it generates an electric charge within it. And the way it does this is all about how the magnet passes over the copper coiled wire in the coil pack. And the way the fixed magnet affects the coil is all about what the copper coiled wire is made of. Copper atoms. There'd be many billions and billions of atoms making up the wire. I'll bring it in so that we can see each atom. OK, so we have our copper atoms and the all important outer electrons which I shall highlight. There's a constant sea of electrons surrounding all of the atoms and at the moment these electrons are moving everywhere backwards and forwards side to side. When the magnetic field on the flywheel's fixed magnet passes over the coil pack, the magnetic field pushes them all in one direction. And this flowing movement of electrons is indeed what we refer to as an electrical current. This electrical current needed to go to ground. And so the attraction for these negatively charged electrons is to flow out of the coil through the HT lead which is connected to it and over to the spark plug to find the ground of the engine. And in doing so, it creates the spark. How do these electrons, trying to find a ground, actually create a spark? Well, when the electrical current arrives at the spark plug, it then travels down a specially designed electrode at the centre of the spark plug and right down to the end of the electrode. But when it gets here, it can't go any further because there's an air gap. This air acts as an insulator stopping the electrical current from going any further than the end of the electrode. But as the pressure of this current builds up and up inside the electrode here, which we call voltage, this changes the composition of the air in that gap. It ionises the air. So this goes from the air being an insulator now to a conductor. And now these trillions of negatively charged electrons can sense ground. And because this ground is more positively charged than themselves, they arc across the gap. And as they arc across the gap, that's creating the spark. And they instantly move through the outer grounded area of the spark plug and into the engine body. Where it's not necessarily positively charged, but because it's more positively charged than all of those negatively charged electrons bunched together, that's why they're attracted to it. And for that reason, this is what's known as a ground. I really hope you've benefited from this video and you feel like you've learned something. If you have, please can I ask that you give me a thumbs up and comment to let me know what you think exactly of the video. And in the meantime, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching.